We've got Jota, he's on the win. We got Kyogo doing his thing. And as a leader, we followed the Celtic all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I've got a smile on my face because Celtic have won away. First, they've won their first away game of the season and their first away game victory since February 14, Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm buzzing over it, because especially today, because you had to win today, because Rangers won today. So, it would have been a bigger gap today if we dropped points, um, which I thought it was going to go to when I would be neutralised. You know, first of all, we got off to a decent start, to be honest with you, you know, you know, you know, you know same kind of Celtic start, but, you know, we got balls in the box, Beaton should have scored. Um, it was a sitter. Um, um, and then there's a lovely cross in from David Turnbull. I can't deny that. Um... You know, and Kyogo scores with his chest, so it's a great finish. But the fact is, you know, he changed the lineup today, so he goes with um, Beaton, McGregor and Turnbull, rather than Rodgick and Turnbull, which I thought was a good idea. Because it started off well, you know, into the game and all that stuff, and Beaton just nearly finished the game. He came he came off with Rodgick, and there you go. Rodgick changed the game. About 15 minutes left to play. He comes on the park, sets up the goal, passed the nice ball into Montgomery. What a tear they would have been proud of that pass from Montgomery, by the way. The run he makes as well, absolutely excellent. I mean, overall, you know, defence wise, we're still shaky again. I mean, Montgomery, I mean, he should have, you know, maybe Joe Hart should have said, you know, I'm getting this ball, so, you know, stand off, you know. But it's defence mistakes again, you know, Montgomery's on the, the front post and Joe Hart thinks he's going to get it, but unfortunately, he's just a bit small and the ball goes over his head and it, it goes 1 1. Lewis Ferguson, it's a good header, though. Um, Communication wise, that's not good enough. Um, that's not good enough conceding set plays. I mean, it's a cross into the box. You should be dealing with that. But only scored by Christ. He nearly made it two one. I mean, it's a great, good, great save from Joe Hart. But it was a great, great header from Scott Brown. And um, Joe Hart made a fantastic save to deny Scott Brown, former Celtic teammate. Well, I thought so. That could be the end of the day. But uh, Michael, uh, George Michael. Because he, he, I am not even joking. Looks a spitting image of George Michael. If you don't know who he is, guys, he's just a guy, you know, if you any Christmas songs, Last Christmas, that's George Michael's song. There's plenty of other George Michael songs, but that's him, if you don't know. Um, but he, the Jota and Kyogo are honest. They were really, really, really good today. I thought Kyogo was brilliant in that first goal. He moved his chest, just moved it, and he knew he was going to get there. He just knew it with his chest. What a difference he makes. I mean, honest, I think Yeti, you know, you've seen a Yeti come on the park. He's just... I'm not saying he's going to, he doesn't look interested, right? Because that's a bit maybe a bit too far. But he just stands there. Whereas Kyogo, he's running. You know, he's you know the point in the game where uh, the Aberdeen keeper nearly got caught out by Kyogo. You know, so it's unfortunate. And Jota, Michael, uh, George Michael pops up. It's a lovely cross. I said, Tierney, Kieran Tierney would be proud of that cross from Montgomery. Lovely pass from Rodrick into Montgomery. Cross foot of the the goal, and he can't miss it. It was a lovely finish from Jota the Br is it Brazilian. The Portuguese, uh, who was also the man in the match, I think he deserved that, to be honest with you, I think he was really good. Um, you know, you've seen at the end of the game, emotions, you know, he did, um, Paul Scogo doesn't let his emotions go when we lose or we win, he just keeps it steady. So, you know, perfect, you know, you see, you see it's not, you're not the Ronnie Roar, but you see the passion, you know, hitting the, 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 the club's crest, um, football, um, McGregor and all that, throwing their shirts into the crowd, that's what it means to Celtic and Celtic fans today, including myself. That, you know, it was really important that we won today because Rangers won. Um, we didn't want that gap to go even further or else there would be really big questions. Um, but some may say um, the international break's came at a wrong time because maybe it's going to mean mental. But I think it's good to come into the international break now because we got after a good win now, back after a good win against Aberdeen away. Very tough place to go to. Um, you go into the national break where you can train with like Sakyogo's not going to Japan, train with the players that need a bit of time who are injured, Get, try and get a bit of, you know, training time with them, like so Julian, Forrest, maybe Mickey Johnson, I don't know. Just get the players in, to see what, you know, get a bit of training them, you know, to see what if they can do, you know, say Georgius, see Marcus, never get any game time today. I thought he would have came on. To be honest with you, I never thought a Yeti would have came on, but, you know, um, there's no doubt uh, it was a big win today. Um, there's no doubt about that. You know, there's obviously goals from Kyogo uh, in the first half, and obviously Jota to seal the win. At Aberdeen, uh, Mr. George Michael may say, lovely, absolutely lovely. You know, some may say it was an easy win. I mean, Aberdeen were really, really fair play to them because they've put up a fight, you know, 1-1, you know, they looked like they were going to win, to be honest with you. They looked like they were the only team that was going to score and then 
Rogic came on, I thought, oh, no, no, I don't really, don't like the sound of Rogic. But then, do you know what? Fair play. You know, fair play. Um, but it's a first away win since Valentine's Day, and it's a crucial three points. There's no doubt about that. And it's obviously on the international break now. Hopefully we scale any injuries. Obviously Mix McGregor and all that stuff, so hopefully we don't do any injuries. I felt starf out today. I think the defence is um, still... I'm still saying it again. Welsh is sitting on the bench, staring at Starfelt, saying probably thinking to post Coggles, thinking how am I not getting a game over him? Because Starfelt, I'm still not showing him. I'm definitely sure he wasn't an Ange post Coggles signing. He's not comfortable on the ball. You can see that. Clutter Vickers was the same a couple of times, but you know putting really good tackles on that stuff, really good. But Starfelt, I think he was in a star world again today. I mean, all right, he done well some occasions, but fair play. Do you know what? <laughs> At least we won away. Do you know what I mean? We got to carry this. Obviously, the game two weeks um to on Saturday. Um, this game we'll be forgotten about. And you go again against Malwell away. It's a very tough fixture again. Um, do you know what? We just got to keep going. You got to keep going because maybe I just found a system now that we can play away from home. Maybe just maybe you know maybe you know. Hopefully, anyway. Um, you know it was a huge important one today. It was a oh, no joke. It was a big one today on the road with both, to both Ange and the club. So very shaky moments at the back, there's no doubt about that again. But going forward, we're strong, having once, uh, having to once again question the decision making, but typically the subs, um, Ange really needs to sort this out. But it's good to see his win though. I mean the subs, are oh, Christ on a bike man. A Yeti. I mean alright, Roger got the assist to Montgomery. Montgomery got the assist for the goal, but... I d- I, the subs, mm, I, you know what I mean? I thought maybe get the Greek guy sometime, but no, okay. Um, the title of the video obviously is you Jota have faith plus three but well, not plus three points but you know what I mean you know you know, Stuart Armstrong has a song his hair is fine he scores better all the time that's why we sang this song for Jota <laughs> um, but I think said that honestly they've got to pay the money for this guy Jota um, he's already proved he's one of our if not our best player uh, going well along with Kyogo Kyo- Kyo- he's all you know like a 7 million option to buy just pay it and if they ask for a bit more you know, still pay it because it's worth it. It's actually worth it. You know what a player is going to be for us this season. Hopefully, for years to come, going to create. You know, there's going to create some memories with this guy and goals for us. Watch, watch this happen. I'm not even kidding. Jota, he's going to be some player. Um, there were, you know, he was though unbelievable along with Saeed Kiogo today. Um, there was no doubt. Uh, we're going to kind of wrap in the end of the video. Um, it was an ugly one, but it does the job. Now it's time to you know kick on from that when we return from the break. Um, Marwell, uh, you get Alexa Hibbs, uh, very tough fixtures to go to. Obviously, with Fen Faros before that, and the Europa League at home, a free rearranged game, joke. But anyway, um, <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to look um, to wrap the video up, guys, with Chris Sutton, what he said about the game. Not convincing second half from Celtic, but an uglyish win for Ange Postecoglou was much needed. Kyogo and Jota, two of the Postecoglou signings with the the important goals. Aberdeen were good second half, there was no doubt about that, they put a good fight up. Now Aberdeen's at eighth, we, sit, we continue sixth, but crucial three points today, there was no doubt about that. Um, but overall, today, good victory for Celtic. Needed, much needed, and they've done it today. Hopefully continue it after an international break against Mallow away, and just continue it throughout the season, because you're going to have to, you're going to fight, because Rangers, you know, they're one now down, ten men in the hips, and they fought back, it was fair play to Rangers, you know, you see them doing that, so you know Celtic have got to do that as well. Um, it can't just be a four 0 victory all the time, five six whatever. If it's a scrappy game, you win it by two goals to one, which you did today. You still get the three points at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Um, but guys, thanks for watching. This is the three things. Well, I, not really three things I learned, but it's going to go into that category because I've kind of discussed three things. You know, obviously. Um, but thanks guys for watching. Recent uh, supporting the channel has been excellent as per usual. And I'll see you guys probably during the week for another video. Um, Please subscribe and like though. Thanks for watching.